Welcome back. Before we start to wind the show down this morning, joining us now is Maria Sargent, a nurse practitioner with West River Mental Health. First of all, how are you doing this morning? I'm good. Good morning. Glad to be here. Excellent. We like seeing that our guests are having an amazing morning. <laughs> so kind of starting off, we are talking about a difficult topic for some sure. people. It is trauma and PTSD. What can you tell us about uh, both of those? So trauma is an emotional response to a terrible event. So a car accident, a death, abuse, um, something that has been very traumatic, <laughs> not to repeat the phrase. Um, so, a typical trauma response in your average person, it's not that they're not going to respond at all to such an event, but usually people can get through that in about a month or so with good support, taking care of themselves. When it persists beyond a month that it's affecting you, that's when it becomes PTSD. Um, and so that can manifest as basically intrusive thoughts, mm -hmm. involuntary memories, um, what some people refer to as flashbacks where you even kind of disassociate. Mm -hmm. um, it can cause nightmares, really interfere with your daily living. And when we're talking about, you know, uh, these two, you, people usually think that uh, about a, a big group of people here in the U.S., veterans. Sure. But... That, those are not the only people that are affected by this. Uh, could you talk a little bit about the people yeah. who can be affected by trauma? So absolutely. Um, veterans is one large population that is very much affected by PTSD, but it can be anybody. It can be a child. It could be a teacher. It can be anybody in our community of any age can experience um, and develop PTSD. Mm -hmm. um, you are more at risk if you have suffered childhood abuse, if you have a history of anxiety mm -hmm. um, and depression or substance abuse issues, it puts you at a little higher risk to um, develop PTSD, so there's some risk factors, um, but it can affect anybody. And when we're talking about some treatments here, right, correct? Uh, what are some of the therapies available for some people out there? Sure, so um, there is help and it is treatable, so there's hope um, if you're experiencing this. And basically, therapy is the first line treatment. Um, there's talk therapy, group therapy, exposure therapy. There's a lot of um, evidence-based therapies that we have available for PTSD. I'm not a therapist myself, so um, we'll leave that to this, mm -hmm. <laughs> those specialists. Um, I'm more well-versed on the medication side of things as a nurse practitioner, and there are medications that your mental health care provider can um, can prescribe to you if they see fit that can help with, um, you know, depression, anxiety symptoms, even nightmares. There's um, medication that has been shown to reduce that for people. 